Hi guys, um, once again I'm here without a script and I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm going to try to teach you um, how to get good results with Blender and the new Yefery render, Yefery. Um, we're going to start by, first let's make our scene and then after we have our practice scene ready we're going to start um, messing with the settings and the materials and stuff in Yefery. So I'm just going to make like a simple a simple scene with like a plane and a few cubes and you can just sit back and watch me make this ridiculous setup. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, that's pretty good. Just just some simple stuff. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of whatever. Let's just add a little curved edge to this. Okay, that's done. All right, so we have our scene, and we're going to add a lamp, which we already have, and a sun just for some dramatic lighting. I'm going to move the lamp into a more scenic location, and there we go. Okay, let's try rendering this with the default Blender render, and we'll see how this turns out. That is not very exciting. Let's try this again with the Yefrey. I'm going to assume that you already have Yefrey installed, and now that you need to activate it, you just go to the top, hit render. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay, we have to split our window so we to make space for the the Yefrey rendering settings. So right click on the bottom bar, s select split area, and then just split into location something like this. Um, in this window type selector on the bottom left you're going to want to scroll up to scripts window hit that um, and from the scripts menu go up to render and then you should see Yefery export 0 0.1 whatever your version is um, just hit that it'll load and in a few minutes there we go okay um, it'll pop up with this with this window it says render and whatever stuff. Okay. Um, first things first, we need to go to on the bottom row. Go to settings. Um, for the method of lighting, we are going to always, 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 always use photon mapping because it makes everything look fabulous, and you barely have to do any work. Um, next step, go down to threads and then set that to the number of processors you have in your or I'm sorry, the number of cores you have in your processor, and I have two, so I'm going to set mine to two. That is going to speed up your render and divide the render so it'll work as fast as it can. Next thing. Um,
Right, okay, next thing, next thing, next thing. Um, we are going to test this render right now without doing anything else. Just hit render. That's really, really big. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back to our scene and add our sun lamp that I promised you earlier but totally forgot about for a second. Add sun. Move it back a little bit. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay. Um, let's set up our lights. We want our sun to actually be a sunlight in Yefer's menu, so having the sunlight selected, move over here to objects and then click here and select sun from the menu. Leave the settings as they are for now and let's try rendering this again at 25% this time. Render. Look at this! You can see that Yefir has already calculated the light bouncing off the cubes, the shadows, and the ambient occlusion that would have taken forever with uh, Blender's internal render. Yefir has given us a beautiful result with only minimal noise, and it hasn't taken very long. Next thing I want to do to polish this up is... What can I do? Next thing I want to do to polish this up is just to show you how you can remove the noise and make your render look even better. So, starting with this, you can see that you have a very, very noisy render. That's not really what we want. So, in order to remove that, we want to set the final gathering samples to somewhere around 64 for now, just because I'm showing you this, but in a real render situation, I usually like to have mine at 128. It takes forever, but you can barely notice any noise. Next thing you want to do is go down to anti-aliasing settings, set the number of passes to 2, the first box to 4, and then the anti-aliasing INC samples to 16. This is going to have two passes of anti-aliasing. The first one is on your first render, and the second pass is applied to every single p extra pass. So, four samples on the very first time you, on the very first frame it renders, and then for every other pass it makes, it's going to do 16 times anti-aliasing. Um, with these settings, like click render, it's going to take significantly longer, but you must, there will be a lot less noise. Okay, so this render already looks fantastic. The next thing that I'll add some realism is to go to World Settings and select the Background Settings, change that to Sun Sky. With your sun lamp still selected, click each of these three buttons and it'll automatically generate a background for you that matches the angle of the sun as if it were a real setting. And then go back to Settings and in the top right here click Use Background. That's going to take the color of the background and apply it to the scene as if it were an HDR sample or something like that. <clears throat> I'm going to turn this back down to 16 and remove the anti-aliasing because I'm running out of time and I want you to see this. So I'm just going to hit render. Remember we already have the use background on and let's see how this looks. In conclusion, Yefre is a way to get relatively easy professional semi I'm sorry. Yefre is a way to get semi easy, relatively professional results in not that very much time. Um, you can extrapolate on these settings with photon mapping, it'll let you do caustics and a whole bunch more fun stuff. So just play with these settings and good luck with your blenders. Thank you very much.